Hello, welcome to my Link's Awakening Let's Play. In our last episode, we collected a heck of a lot of seashells. And in this video, we are continuing actually with the story for once. And we're going to go to Richard's Castle so that we can collect some golden leaves. Um, before we head to the side entrance or just secret entrance so we can get in, we need to go to the front entrance in order to get our photograph. Okay. After that, you need to go this way. And this is why you needed to complete the trading quest up to this point, because you really can't get in the castle unless you have the bananas. But if you take, talk to this little monkey, you'll see that you have the bananas. And if you give him the bananas, he's gonna build you a bridge so you can get into the castle. And with that, you get the stick. So, yep, you needed to complete the training quest up to the bananas. After that, if you really don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. start collecting golden leaves so and they're not hard to find they're pretty easy like right here if you kill this guy maybe just wait until he pops out of the hole and basically whack a mole with your sword so dang it sometimes he does that too because he's a jerk He's a jerk. Got him. And killing him allows you to get your first goat leaf. Okay, and we're gonna go around the bend and kill those little guys. Then past the entrance, of course. <laughs> Bushwacken. To kill that little guy with the sword. get your second gold leaf, you need to get this crow out of the tree and just keep whacking him until he's... What the heck? I forgot he flies away. <laughs> but you make him come to you and kill him and then he gives you your uh, second gold leaf. I did not know he flew away. I never had that happen. That is really weird. Okay, let's go into the castle, and I'm going to equip the magic powder because there's an enemy that is really good to use it on. You use it on this guy, and he's gone. You don't have to worry about him anymore. But killing all the enemies, and I did not mean to do that, in this room gives you your third goat leaf. Stepping on this button will open the gate. So, if you didn't get your picture before you stepped on this button, um, tough luck. No picture time. To get your next goading leaf, just bomb this wall and make him pop up and just kill him. And he'll release goading leaf. 
You don't have to really bomb the other wall unless you really want to. <laughs> so, don't really stress about it. And now we're gonna go and get our next leaf. And you think, well, the door's shut. How do I open it? Very easy. Just throw your pot against it. I'm gonna see if there's a heart real quick. I need one more heart. And you kill this guy. He's not that hard to kill. Just go and swipe him and just avoid his attack. Which is really not that hard to do. This is one of the easier versions of this fight, so... And Zelda series, so I don't think he's that much of a challenge. Yay! Now we have all five golden leaves. We now need, we need to go back. And I'm going to cut going back to his house. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, back at his house, you need to go and take the five golden leaves and give it to him. Très bien. And push this thing down and then go into his little cave. Kill these souls and then go this way first. Because if you go this way, guess what? You get another secret seashell. Because we are almost. Yeah, we are really far with the secret seashells, man. I don't think there's anything that way. But you come. After you go through his cave, you come into his little maze garden, which has holes. So, yeah, you gotta do some jumping. Ooh. But just cut a bunch of bushes, and you'll soon find the right path. To do, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but very predictable, so it's not too hard. And then you go into here, cut that bush. If you talk to the owl, he'll just tell you in soil sleep secrets beneath your souls. And all you can do is just dig this patch just in front of them to get your key. And now we got our key to our next dungeon. And since we have the key, we now need to go and unlock our dungeon. So we'll do that first. And you need to go up north and unlock it. I'm going to show you a location for yet another secret seashell that you can get. And I think that'll wrap this video up. Um, to get your 13th secret seashell, you need to go up north as you're going to the dungeon. And just like you're going to the dungeon, you need to jump across the ledges, go north, but if you go over here, I hate these flying octa rocks. Urgh, I hate them. And you dig in the middle of where the grass was, you can get another secret seashell. Yeah, we have racked up to 13, so we really kicked it up with the seashells in these past few videos. Just a great number to go before the next dungeon. And I'm going to end off here. This is going to be our next dungeon, so I'm just going to focus the next video on that dungeon. I can't wait to record the next video and post it up so that you guys can see and keep gaming.